The 54 Immortals crush all opposition. Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is G from the 54 Immortals back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my Apex Legends tier list for all the legends in Season 11. In order to make this tier list, I'm going to compare each of the legends to each other. If one legend does something that another legend does better, then I'm going to take that into an account. So don't think I'm rating something low because it's bad individually. Maybe it's just because it's good individually, but another legend does it better, so you might as well just pick that legend. And to keep in mind that this is going to be for ranked um, BR, so this it doesn't count for arenas or anything like that, it's just for ranked BR, so let's hop right into it. So I'm going to start with the new legend, Ash. I'd personally put Ash probably in B tier. She's really good, her ult is really really good, but it's kind of finicky and there's like certain ledges that you have to do it on and it's not really like freely moving. You have to do it in certain areas and her tether which is her q ability or lb ability is not good at all i think it needs to be buffed a lot and if it was buffed then ash i think could go up to a or maybe even s just because pushing people it's really good for pushing people instantly ash i put in b tier maybe it'll get buffed in the future and go up to a or s her alt's really good but her q ability is not Bangalore for ranked BR, I'm probably gonna put her in C tier. By now, I'd say that her Q ability, her LB ability with the smoke, it's pretty good, but and it can disorient people. But I feel like by now, people are pretty good at being able to tell where people are and the sound cues and stuff like that. So it's not too hard to like track down a Bangalore if she's popping smoke everywhere. And her ult is not very good at all. Her ult is honestly kind of useless in my opinion. It slows people down. Her passive ability is probably her best attribute. Just because when you get shot at, you move quicker. And for that, I might put her up into B. I'd say she's probably between B or C. She's not a very good team legend though. So for ranked BR, I wouldn't really recommend using her. So I'm going to put her in C. Bloodhound. This might be a little controversial, but I'm not going to put him in S. I'm going to put him in A. Bloodhound's ult is really, really good. You can see people from super far away and it's really good for tracking down people. Also, Bloodhound's passive is really, really good. If someone's running away from you, you can see their footsteps and where they're going. So that's really good. The only thing about Bloodhound is that their Q ability is not very good. I, I think it's a little overrated in my opinion. Yes, it can scan people. It can see how many people are in the area and stuff like that, but the scan only lasts so long. If anything, it can give away your position and where you are. I honestly think the LB Q ability isn't very good and I think it's a little overrated, but Bloodhound's ult and passive are very, very good. And I'll put Bloodhound in A, not S. I don't think they're S. Caustic. For World's Edge in the current season, I'm going to go ahead and put Caustic in A. I think Caustic's probably the best defensive legend. The gas barrels are extremely annoying. If you ever have pushed someone and they have gas barrels everywhere, it can be super, super annoying to fight them. Also, Caustic's ult can be really, really good at, at countering Gibraltar's uh, bubble. So, on World's Edge specifically, and indoor fights, Caustic is really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and put Crypto in F. This might be a little controversial, and Crypto is getting a, a buff in the coming seasons. But the Crypto drone takes you out of the fight. It, the ult on the Crypto is not very good. It just does 50 damage, which I guess in reality can be good, but you can just shoot the Crypto drone. And <clears throat> other than that, Crypto really isn't that good. I don't think there's a reason why Crypto isn't used very much. I also think Crypto is extremely annoying. Fuse, I'd put in probably D tier. Fuse is not a very good team legend at all, I don't think. Fuse is ult where you do that rain of fire or whatever is not very good um it's just pretty much a big circle of a thermite it can be good if like you knock someone and you don't want them running away or something like that but it doesn't last very long and i just don't it's really situational and i don't think it's very good fuse's q ability is pretty good and it's super annoying to fight against but then again it only does so much damage and you can run away from it if you're the enemy gibraltar is gonna be our first s tier legend gibraltar's probably the best team legend in the game i'd say the bubble is just so good you can put down a huge dome that's indestructible it's super good in end game circles also gibraltar's alt where it does that huge bombardment of missiles or whatever is super super good in end game it's like it has honestly too big of a radius i think also gibraltar's passive is super good you get like a little shield if you ads 
in front of you so it can take more damage and also if you didn't know gibraltar as a legend has a bigger hitbox but to counteract that he takes less damage if you ever hit someone with a wingman for 38 that's probably a gibraltar usually it does 45 to legends like bangalore and stuff like that but gibraltar does 38 also when you res someone in a bubble it goes faster so that's also really good i honestly think gibraltar should be nerfed that's my opinion horizon for ranked br i'd say horizon is probably a b tier legend horizon's all is really really good you pretty much throw down this huge black hole it sucks everything in its radius into the middle you can like chuck nades into the hole and then it like blows everything up a lot of times horizons all gets me killed and you can also as an enemy shoot it out but that can be kind of hard and it's really disorienting so horizons all really good also horizons passive it might be the, one of the most underrated in the game if you fall from anything usually you get stuck but with horizon you just keep moving she's really light on her feet and i can make from some really good clips if you ever seen people like jumping off buildings and just keep sliding everywhere and having this sick movement it's probably with horizon also horizons q ability is kind of underwhelming in my opinion it can catch other people off guard i've, I've noticed that some people they'll throw it on their enemies, they'll throw the little thing on their enemies, and then it'll shoot them up into the air and make them a really easy target. Other times you can throw it at the ground on you and it shoots you up into the air. So Horizon's Q ability is pretty good, but I'd say her best ability is a passive in her ult, so that lands her in B tier. Lifeline, I'm gonna throw Lifeline in C tier, maybe even D tier. If there was one in the middle, I'd put her there. Lifeline is really, really situational. Her passive is that she can drone res someone. If one of your teammates is down, you can go ahead and just go run over and hit the interact button and res them, and then you can keep fighting. Honestly, sometimes gets your teammate killed, even if they're getting on the ground, because they can't hold their knockdown shield out or anything like that. Lifeline's ult is really bad, in my opinion. The care package can give your position away. Endgame, though, it can actually give you some cover. I noticed some people call it in for cover in end games if there's no cover in the circle. But overall, Lifeline's package is not very good. Something like Loba's Black Market is better for getting loot. Also, Lifeline's LB ability, Q ability, is a healing drone. I don't think that's that good in my opinion. It just can get you targeted and it has a sound cue. You can get pushed right away. Loba, I'm gonna throw in B tier. I think Loba's passive where can sh she can see loot is really good for off spawn engagements she can see like purple shields and pills super far away and she can just go grab the purple shield her lb ability her q ability her ring that teleports her i think is not very good it can be good in certain situations for like getting on high ground or stuff like that it can leave you with your guard down and get you killed a lot of times the best part of her easily is her black market it pretty much you throw down a black market and then in a certain radius you can get any loot you want you can only pick two things but you can get any loot you want and also the best thing about this is probably her ammo she gets infinite ammo and honestly they're probably gonna nerf it just because in end games and ranks you need a ton of ammo because you're pretty much just spraying everybody all the time and loba is pretty much infinite ammo for your team she's kind of situational though so I'd throw her in B, she might get nerfed, it could bring her down. In good situations though, she's S. I think in endgame situations, she can be really, really good and really, really helpful for your team. Mirage, I'm gonna throw an F. Personally, I think Mirage is probably the worst legend in the game. Everyone by now kind of can tell when, when there's a decoy and when there's not. Pretty much every ability with Mirage is kind of underwhelming. Passive is that he can be invisible while he reses, but there's still a sound cue. And as soon as you get up, you're not invisible. So pretty much it's just kind of delaying the inevitable, in my opinion. Mirage's Q ability is that he sends one decoy out. And if an enemy shoots it, it's immediately obvious that it's a decoy. So it kind of doesn't really do anything, in my opinion. And then also his ult is that he sends out like a bunch of decoys that mimic him. But there's a lot of ways that you can tell which one is which. Octane, I'd say he was S, but with the nerfs, I'd say he's probably A tier. I'd say Octane's probably just a better Ash. Usually people compare Ash to Wraith just because it's like the portal type thing, but I think Ash has that one way portal that you can't go back through and it doesn't last very long, stuff like that. Octane's kind of the same thing, it's just not instant. But I'd say Octane's better than Ash just because Octane's Q ability where you take damage but you can have a speed boost is really, really good. 
Also, Octane's passive health regen is really, really good. You pretty much don't need to carry any syringes around. They nerfed his pad. They made it a lot louder, and it doesn't go as far. They also nerfed his health regen. So before the nerf, he was S, but now I'd say he's A. He's still a really good legend. Pathfinder, I'd say Pathfinder. If you know how to use Pathfinder, he's probably A or B. If you don't know how to use Pathfinder, he's probably down here. This, this is probably the most varied legend in my opinion, just based on if the person using it knows how to use it. But overall, I'd probably say he's B tier just because he's not a great team legend in my opinion. His passive is that he can locate the next ring, but the only thing is recently they've made it so all recon legends can do that. So Bloodhound can do that, Crypto can do that, Val can do that seer can do that so his passive is pretty much not he doesn't have a passive pretty much pathfinder's q ability is probably his best ability he can grapple it does have a big cooldown but he can grapple like up to high ground or around ledges stuff like that and this is probably the reason that it varies so much between if who uses it just because it can be hard to use but if you do know how to use it, you can throw your enemies off guard and you can get big speed boosts and stuff like that. His ult is that he throws down a zipline, which can also be very good. But in my opinion, it's just a worse wraith portal and you can get shot during it and it's really obvious when you're doing it. So I wouldn't say his ult's that good, but his Q ability is really good if you know how to use it. Rampart, I'd say is probably D tier. Rampart's just a worse caustic in my opinion. Rampart you can throw down those barriers which can be good at blocking doors but then again you can break the doors and then jump over the barriers her barrier if you put it down you can only shoot through one way the other way you can't shoot through but it has a certain amount of health the health is not very much so it's easy to just spray it all out and then you kill the person and her all is like a big machine gun kind of in my opinion is underwhelming there's a reason that not many people use her every time i fight one of these they can be kind of scary just because i'm not used to fighting against it but usually it's not too hard to fight against and if you're gonna pick defensive legend i'd say caustic revenant ranked br i'd say revenant's probably either either b or c tier um i'm gonna throw a revenant in c tier revenant's alt's probably one of the best in the game to be honest his death totem can be super annoying and if combined with an octane pad or an ash portal or something like that it can be super annoying to fight against it pretty much gives you an extra life once you hit the death totem and then you go fight someone and you die you spawn back in the death totem so he pretty much gives you an extra life his q ability is not very good in my opinion it shuts down everybody else's abilities so like if you're an octane you're trying to run away and a revenant cues you you can't stim anymore which can be good but i think it's very situational not very good also revenant's passive is that you can pretty much climb any height distance there's pretty much no limit there is a limit, but there's pretty much no limit to it uh, in actual situations. So, so yeah, I'd put Revenant in C tier. Seer, I'd say, is probably also C tier. When Seer first came out, he was probably one of the best legends in the game. His LB ability would stop all healing, do damage, you could see them through walls, see how much health they have. But they nerfed it a lot, and he's not very good anymore. I'd say he's probably just a worse Bloodhound. His ult is a huge dome that you can see everyone's footprints and everyone's health and where people are in that dome for only a certain amount of time, which is pretty good. I think before the nerf, he was probably S, but I think his nerf was way too big. And his ult, his Q ability now just cancels healing and shows where you are for a certain amount of time. I'd put Seer in the C tier for now. Valkyrie, I'd say, is probably S tier right now. Valkyrie's passive is that she can has a jetpack, so she can fly literally anywhere pretty much for the most part, which is one of the best things in the game. She can also scan beacons. She can. Her ultimate is that you fly all the way up in the air with your teammates and and then you scan everybody that's around you so you can see where everybody is and you can decide where to land based off that it's super good for rotating to zone and then her q ability is that she sends out this like missile barrage kind of and it stuns enemies and does some damage it is good at getting people behind cover and stuff like that i'd say valk right now is definitely s tier she's super super good and you definitely want one on your team watson's probably the one of the worst defensive legends in the game i'd probably say she's worse than rampart so i'd say she's f her 
Q ability is that she can put down these like laser barricades, but they're super easy to shoot out if you're an enemy. You, it literally takes like one or two bullets to shoot them out. And then her ult is pretty much like a trophy system if you've ever played Call of Duty. And it gives you sh passive shield regen. I just think if you're going to run a defensive legend, you definitely run Caustic. Caustic's just better than Watson and Rampart. And that's just my opinion. Also, Gibby is very good too. But And then Wraith, I'd say is either S or A. I'd say she's probably S tier. Wraith's Q ability is in my opinion probably the best in the game she pretty much goes into like another dimension for a certain amount of time and you get a speed boost and you can't you're invincible pretty much so you can run from fights if you're in a bad situation also her alt is very good you can portal so you this is good for like kidnapping people if you're in a bad situation you can portal out and all your teammates can hit it if you're in the portal you're invincible it is obvious to enemies if you're hitting her q ability or hitting the portal like where you're going but you're invincible and you can see them while you're in those abilities as well so you can kind of plan what you're going to do after you exit those abilities also her passive is it, it tells you when people are aiming at you which is super super good if you're just like running along looting doing whatever and then an uh, audio cue tells you that you're being aimed at or something like that you can act accordingly or get up, get into cover, do anything like that. So you know someone's looking at you, you know someone's there. So yeah, that is my final list when it comes to Apex Legends in Season 11 for Ranked BR. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe and check out other videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.